Boo! Furious Megan spotted secretly leaving Marriott by the back door after protesters threw eggs at her. The Duchess of Sussex was spotted leaving a hotel in Indianapolis after attending their charity event focused on women and empowerment. Megan attended a talk called The Power of Woman, an evening with Megan, at Indianapolis Marriott Downtown Hotel in the capital city of Indiana, where rooms can cost more than £260 per night. While no pictures have emerged yet from the event, which strictly took place behind closed doors, with no media outlet present, the Duchess was seen after the talk had ended, as the snaps had showed Megan wearing a black coat with large black buttons and her hair gathered in a signature messy bun. As the Duchess was photographed next to the car speaking with people around her and pointing something in front of her. In the pictures, that's the most natural I've ever seen her. Cold eyes pointing commandingly and no warmth at all. Funny how her permanent grin disappears altogether when she thinks that there aren't cameras around. She'll be even more pissed at these pictures of her looking bored and angry. On occasion, photos or videos, you see her mask momentarily slip, just long enough for a chill to run down our spine. In these photos, her mask hasn't just slipped. She's even forgotten to put it on, as the effect is to freeze out the blood solid, and her face is so icy and close. And it's not known how much Megan will have been paid for the appearance which many had made her dissatisfied after the event. I guess that I, it was very few people that came to the event. When floaters took to the stage, the Women's Fund event was held at an indoor arena and a sold-out audience of 13,000 people. And Megan, the largest capacity of a conference space at the Indianapolis Marriott downtown, is about 2,500 people. Clearly the expectation about what sort of crowd Megan will pull are not even vaguely in the same ballpark, or even indoor arena, as that of Michelle. Hitting back at the Megan attended event by nothing, that water of sewer distribution of America will be hosting their get together. At a hotel at the same chain, Esla argued that Megan did not have to pull off a big guest. She continued, clearly the expectations was that sort of crowd that Megan had pulled are not even vaguely in the same ballpark or even an indoor arena, as that of Michelle. Unfortunately, as the time worm cliché goes on, numbers don't lie, and for Megan it is a pretty bumpy week and the numbers front. As unnamed sources have revealed, that a group of protesters had been standing in front of the hotel Marriott, which probably led Megan to secretly flee shortly after the event. As it came as the British police chief said they had investigated many credible plots against the Duchess of Sussex, that had threatened her life. Outgoing Scotland Yard Assistant Commissioner Neil Basu said that the threats received against Meghan were very real, calling them disgusting. He had told Channel 4 News there were serious threats emanating from the far-right groups in this country. If you'd seen the stuff that was written and you were receiving it, the kind of erotic that's online, you will feel under the threat all of the time. When asked if there was a genuine threat to Megan's life more than once, Mr. Basso replied, Absolutely, we had teams investigating it, and people have been prosecuted for those threats. 